Hello, happy Tuesday, the 25th of March. So I'm going to continue today with Easter Love Letters from God. And this is called the Secret Supper. And it comes from the Bible in Luke 22, 14 through 20, and John 14, 1 through 6. And if you look at the picture, you probably can figure out what we're going to read. The Secret Supper, or the Last Supper. The disciples were ready for their secret supper with Jesus. Their feet were clean, the table was set, they were hungry, but Jesus was quiet. His eyes were sad as he looked around the table at his friends. He knew this was the last meal he would ever eat with them. Jesus picked up a loaf of bread and broke it. The disciples watched as crumbs fell to the table. This broken bread is like my body, Jesus said. My body will be broken for you. Then Jesus took a pitcher of wine. The disciples watched as he filled the cup. This wine is like my blood, Jesus said softly. Whenever you eat bread and whenever you drink wine, remember me. What did Jesus mean? The disciples were scared. It sounded like he was going to leave them. Don't let your hearts be troubled, Jesus said. I'm going somewhere wonderful. You can't come. Here, let me move a little bit. Let me move so you can see it better. Okay. I'm going to start that page again. Don't let your hearts be troubled, Jesus said. I'm going somewhere wonderful. You can't come with me yet, but one day I will come back and take you there. It's a beautiful, happy place with lots of rooms. It's a home that's big enough for everyone, and I'm going to get it ready for you. The disciples were still worried. How would they know how to get to the special place? But Jesus told them, I am the way. Jesus whispered, believe in me, be like me, live like me, love like me, because I am the way to heaven. God's wonderful words to you. I am the way, John fourteen six. Your love letter. See your love letter? Your love letter from God. Dear children, parents, families, close your eyes. I want you to imagine a big, beautiful home with so many rooms you can't count them. Imagine every room is filled with love, laughter, and happiness. It's a place you never want to leave because of all the fun, joy, and peace there. Open your eyes. You just imagined my home in heaven. Jesus wants everyone in the whole world to live there with him. And the best part is that my home is not hard to find. All you need to do is believe in Jesus and receive Jesus, and he will show you the way. Love God. Wow. <laughs> of God, a love letter from God. 
You know that when we have communion, what we're doing is just like they did at the Last Supper. They were celebrating the Passover meal. And we've done a Seder, a Passover meal. And that's what they were doing. So what I was thinking is that maybe you could draw a picture showing what heaven looks like, what your home in heaven would look like, what you think it would look like. I would be happy to see them when we can get together. Or maybe your parents could take pictures and text them to me. I would love to see them. Praise God. So I hope you're having a blessed day. Let's just pray together. Father God, we thank and praise you, Lord God, that your hand is upon us. We thank and praise you, Lord God, that with each passing day, we're closer to being together as a family, your family, Lord. But there is no distance in the spirit that we can pray together and love together without even really having to be together all the time. And I thank you for these young people, Lord God, and their parents. And I ask that you put a hedge of protection around them. I plead your precious blood, Jesus, over them and over the doorposts and lentils of their hearts and homes. In Jesus' name, and everybody said, Amen.